welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers episode. My name is Raycoms and we're here live on Forgecraft again. Um, I was having some OBS issues today. I was actually planning to do the streaming a little bit earlier, but I had a system update and there were some Linux incompatibilities, so I had to I fix my OBS setup for a few hours. That was a little bit of a pain. We just locked in, I think, in the perfect moment. We finished building the town hall level 2 now. Uh, you can see it here. It looks a decent amount nicer than the level 1, that is sure. And hi Dragon Hunter, hi Y Schleifton, and hi Leah. How are you guys doing? Um, that's our level 2 town hall. We do want that relatively soon to level 3, though. What does that cost now? Um, build option, black banners, that's usually a pain. How much logs? 200 spruce logs. I guess we're going to wait for some of our other upgrades to finish first, to do that then. Hi Erevan, how are you doing? Um, here we go. Oh, I know. Just, yes. Um, we do want to check our builders out and what they need. Um, here, we need still a bunch of spruce stuff. And the other one probably... <laughs> uh, they probably, uh, the other one also needs a ton of spruce stuff. Yeah, white bat and white banners, but a lot of spruce. And I saw some cobblestone in there too. No. Just white banner and white bat. Welcome Mikolos to the stream. Um, we want some... Co no, cobblestone it wasn't. That's what I was confusing. Um, I did want... What was it again? White bat and white banner. Okay. Don't I have more? Yes, here some white wool. Now I forgot how many it was. It was at least one white bat. And at least I'll one white banner, okay, but I'm sure if it was one, two, or two, one. Okay, one white bad and two white banner. Hi, Lancy, how are you doing? Um, banners are just crazy expensive. I'm going to eat up most of our wool. Though at least in that building there are not so many. We still need to get a bunch of that spruce. I'll take um, care of it. Today we were I was working a bunch on getting some general fixes out and also people were taking this percentage counter here way too serious. It kind of takes the amount of resources that are um, were total needed compared to how much was placed. And then when it said 100% and the builder didn't finish instantly people were like Back, back, I said, no, no, 100% means only the resources, no, it's a bug, so yes, I'm going to add that it's going to take the stages into account as well, so that when the builder is scanning over the air to see it's blocks that have good. to be removed, etc., um, that that is taken into account for the calculation, and this way people are not going to bother us about... The, uh, Oh, my building didn't finish even though it's at 100% for a few minutes. Yes, building is... Placing blocks is only a part of the building process. Because especially the upgrades, there is a lot of block removing going on as well. So, that is not in this resource calculation in. Um, I did want to get some access. And hi, Fairwolf, how are you doing? Yeah, we are on a, a little bit earlier today. I even though I want it to be a little bit earlier even than this. Ah, I wanted to bring some of that logs over because I knew that one here is definitely waiting for the logs. And even more. We need more spruce logs. I already placed a second lumberjack here. Ah, that's very nice, yes. Those alerts are super useful. So we got a second lumberjack we're going to build here. To just get our amount of logs. Because that building style just needs so many logs. Um, it's definitely 
immensely useful to have a second lumberjack. That one here failed. Okay. And Ruster MK, welcome to the stream as well. Nice to have you here. Um, here, just getting all the spruce lock quickly. Here, here, here. Okay. Huh. Sometimes it it fails weirdly. And I have I can't forget to eat because it seems to drain the the health uh, the hunger bar quite a bit. And then when the hunger bar is uh, basically finished, it will stop working. And then I'm again clicking like a crazy person, and it's not reducing. And I'm still wondering until I get the first damage indicator usually, and then like, oh, that was it. Uh, Hi there, one Matthias. How are you doing? So, I'm a roofing type company. Mm, probably not. Not not necessarily planned. Just to craft all the shingles. No, we have. We're going to set up mostly the existing crafters for that. People are already or people. Our builders are already complaining that we have too many buildings to maintain and get. So we try to avoid adding too many new ones uh, for things we ha already have. Things when we already have a quite a ton of additional buildings planned that are going to be added in the future. So that is so the builders are not going to be happy about that already. So we want to kind of smooth them into the transition such that they're not too overworked they're already like a yeah exactly yes you could just make a second sawmill and only teach the sawmill those recipes that would definitely work, for example. <laughs> yeah, and Not every person enough, eh? maintains more than one style and these kinds of things. So it's a, it's quite some work for our builders as well to get those things worked out. Okay. Now we can get all the stairs those guys need. But potentially not all, because it's a lot of stairs. Early building levels need a lot of stairs each. Okay. Look at this. I made so many stairs and it's not even enough for Tyler. I'm going to give some of, for him and some for our other builder too. I accept die for sure. I do accept die for sure, Lancy. Mystical flower. If you can tell me how this mystical flower stuff works, I would appreciate that as well. <laughs> I I looked into it because it seemed like a decent way to get some dyes and stuff. And maybe some other things planted. And I wanted to check if maybe I can get some compatibility working. Um, ah, mystical flower seed was the bota was botania, right? Ah, it was botania. I thought it, that was the... Um, mystical, other than mystical, the other mystical mod, but dice I definitely accept. Yeah, there's so many mods I want to look into as well. When we got our colony a little bit more maturely set up here, I definitely do want to check out some other mods on stream and maybe check some compatibility ways out for mine colonies. Yes, I do have, I do have a, a mortar and pestles. Why do I have it here? I already used that for the green dye, so that I don't have to go to the, the desert. That was already super easy, uh, super useful. Um, let's get some of our sugar cane going here again, because we do need that. 
for the paper walls all the time. And then we can, wait, let me dump this here over in the chest. And I'm going to go in the channel here as well. Okay, I'm here in voice chat on the Forgecraft server. Um, yeah, that, that could be interesting, but it might be uh, a huge amount of work. I was thinking more of starting off with a mystical agriculture compatibility that would probably be rather easy. So we need 40 of this one here. That's basically 10. Here. I think only the plain one. Um, I don't think that I got the waystone to your base, I'll unfortunately. Let me see if I have any waystone activated at all. <laughs> I had one waystone close to spawn. I had. <laughs> Focus on head. What are the cords to your base? We need 24 of those. And I think it's the left and right, yes. Hi, Omi Rankin. Um, ah, here it went. I hate when, this, when the stuff goes down instead of going to the next higher slot here, where I would expect it somehow. <laughs> oh, you meant to ask me something and now you forgot it. That's not a problem. If you remember later, just don't forget to ask. <laughs> um, let's see. So this one needs more stairs only. Let's try to craft a bunch more stairs. And then see if that is potentially just enough. Okay, that's enough for this one here. Farmer level 3. That's important one because we want to go get carrot fields for sure. <laughs> yeah, it, the ca the cat is the one that that rules the house. Didn't you know that? Hmm. My cat usually he has his more subtle ways to make sure that I that he got my attention. Because he's so smart, he knows exactly what he da has to do for each person to get the attention. And for me, it just starts eating computer cables. Like he goes under the table, next to the socket, and starts eating the cable. Making, of course, sure that I notice that he's doing it. And... And you know, you, you see it just in, in this evil little mind. You just see, he looks at me while he does it, and he's like, looking at me, opening the mouth slowly around the cable, and it's like, I want attention, you want your cables alive. Do we have a deal? <laughs> that used to cause some tension to get things going as well. I started buying better mouse cables and other cables just because they were full of cat bite marks. Something to do with Botania. Um, here we go. Getting more of that spruce. I guess we got some... Ah! See? I don't notice it. I was empty already again in my hunger bar. And I was like, why isn't this working? Um, this is the Forgecraft server. So they're basically a bunch of modders decide which... Uh, not decide which mods go on, but can propose mods. So... Botania was basically uh, is one of the maintained mods as far as I know and that was uh, that's why it's included. It's not 
my decision to include. There are lots and lots of mods on the server. There are lots of things we should probably be experimenting with in a couple of episodes. Yeah, I notice it. I mean, I, I agree on it. Okay. Ah, the coordinates. For 30... Minus a thousand. That's not so far. So let's... Let's get these things here going. And we're going to meet... Check out Lance's base here. And... Get some dice, potentially, as well. I I heard that. I saw Kugo had, like, a spree of productivity and made a quite a bunch of the these um, buildings already. And they look pretty nice. I really would like to test it out in the nether. So... Let's dump some of our things around here. Just here, that's fine. Um, I think the rest we potentially can take with this. So we have to go to 430 minus 1000. So minus 1000 is in this direction. So we should get a boat probably. Good that I didn't leave without the planks. Let's get a boat. And that might not be so difficult to do. Because on water we're much faster. I'm actually thinking about doing the nether style in our uh, series on the server then. It's 4.30, that one stays, right? Yes. It's basically just straight over the sea. That's a nice place to go probably because it's pretty quick to to go to get there let's get a good little inclination this direction so I might do the nether style on the new 116 server then yeah yeah it was a group decision oh there's a ton of those drowned under there for sure those don't cause lag vanilla mojang so, we're progressing. Just another... Okay, we have to now go a bit straight. Yes. It's another 800 blocks and we just started a second ago. We're going to be really quick. I think he has the base on the... On the... On the volcano, if I don't remember wrongly. I think that's going to be super interesting. <laughs> yeah, Mojang is, is just amazing at that. I, I don't know how they are able to code their own AIs so badly to be so laggy. I don't know. Either they don't really don't care or they just let their intern do, do their AIs. It has to be either of them. Because I can't imagine anything else besides that. The only disadvantage is actually that I was hoping to get some sheep on the way. Now that is a gunner for sure. <laughs> but we're getting close, only another 300 blocks. Might not be volcano after all. Or is it? It's in this direction, we're getting really close. Yeah, I, do, I don't think that it's the brain system that causes the lag. I think it's just, as always, just Mojang doing badly coded stuff. It's not the brain system itself causing the lag. I'm pretty sure about that. So that looks like a base, but that doesn't look like the volcano base. So I got... I think I got you confused on that. Okay. So, got here some neat electricity setup going is that that's immersive engineering it's all of this immersive engineering 
That seems to be. Hi, neighbor. I heard you got a waystone somewhere. Waystone, waystone. Ah, there. Let me activate this. So now we are much quicker to, to each other for sure. Yay! Lots of dice. Oh, that's great. Coal seeds, inferium seeds, wood seeds. Oh yeah, that is definitely very useful. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I do really like those. That one here looks particular nice. That could even fit in our colony later on potentially. Hydrocarus. A trash can. I might need... Not sure if I want to get a trash can because I'm really good at misclicking. Oh, so someone here has a secret partner, I see. <laughs> I see someone might have some preferences for the undead. <laughs> is that you, Lancy? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, nice. More seeds. What do we have? Dye essence? More? So much dye essence. This, this is going to satisfy all our dying needs. I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. A neat little base you have here. Mining gadgets. Ah, this here is Botania. Ah, I could have gone through the nether. I didn't know that you guys have a nether portal as well. Those are core samples. Oh, I really don't understand. I really don't understand anything about immersive engineering. What what does this do? What do the core samples do? I'd really love to know. Bit ominous coal. That looks very interesting. Then we hear... Ah, this here is for mystical agriculture. That was one of the things I wanted to to look after then. It has a button as well. So that's how you set it up. Ah, that makes sense. So some have iron, some have beryl. That's quite interesting mechanic for sure, yes. There's the basement. Ah, that's the miner. I do like the noise as well they make. Although... That seems like there is probably some... Disturbance going on. <laughs> Their saturation is how close to the center. Ah, nice. But it does look for sure very interesting. There we got the flower seeds. That looks like inf uh, Inferium. I used to play this mod a lot on some Skyblock servers. And that was basically the number way, number one way for most progressions. That's oh, those are the botany hoppers that basically harvests those there automatically for you. That's quite the way to handle that as well. And it gives all of these things directly. It gets useful. Oh, I got now cow seeds. Oh, that was going to be useful for sure. Thanks. You're going to need a lot of leather later on to get all the bookshelves in our colony. So here we got some blast brick and some coke brick to make some multi-block ovens. I really, I really do like this. This here looks interesting as well for sure. I really do like these things that's like very natural progression to 
getting ores, etc. I think Minecraft is sometimes way too easy on that. It's just like build this blocky furnace block and get and, and melt your some iron even though it might need very high temperatures so that you would need certain mechanics first to be able to leverage those temperatures. Kinda how it works in the in this anime in Dr. Stone where the guy builds those ovens as well. Even a fluid pump to cool it down. Very nice. Ah, here we can go up even. And check what kind of blocks that is. I hope this doesn't hurt me. That is also windmill in immersive engineering. All of it. We need a dynamos, capacitors, and then just cables probably. Oh. And it was I definitely do, do like those cables. I really don't like when it's like when you don't need cables to connect stuff. Those look neat. That here looks like create. No, it's. I thought that was create. Is it? Isn't it create the? No, it's all immersive engineering of it. Looked a little bit like create. Although I don't think. Yeah, it's not one sixteen yet, right? This here is some other big machine. Very interesting. Which was our boat? Hi, Tiny Tots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let's get in our boats. I'm having some server lag at the moment. Wait. I do not have to get in any boat. I can just directly teleport back through the waystone. That is probably going to be the quicker solution. Yeah, yeah, cow, cow seeds, you can grow literally everything in this mod. Um, like here. I need to right click this. Waystone. Hmm. Huh. I think maybe the chunk claimed or so. I can't teleport back. I'm trapped. Wait. Oh wow. I was still in my boat. It's sometimes incredible. How difficult it is in vanilla to leave a boat. Does anyone else have this? Sometimes leaving a boat can just be... Okay, we're having so much lag. That's incredible. Uh, probably don't want to keep this food. Now it's cow seed, it is. Okay, now. And I timed out. Okay, locking bed, <laughs> logging bed in. Was that my connection or wasn't it? I'm not sure. Hi Nick Plays Gaming. We're just kind of kicked from the server. I think we have some had some latency problems or so. Because things were just terrible. Um, did them? Okay, let's see. Okay. 
This is our place. Um, how can I? I think a name tag is used to to rename this, isn't it? Um, it's let's your gold. Use this name tag. Get ourselves some iron and make an anvil because we need an anvil for the name tag. Um, D D M, anvil. Name tag. Raise place. Doesn't it work like this? Um, right click. Ah, um, mine colonies here. Probably the better name anyway. What a fail! <laughs> but for sure we needed anyway. The yeah, those those give it some nice training for our guards. You know you can see the lag. But they give some nice training. They appear in small groups here and there. Let's get ourselves a chest so we can store all the seeds. Them, the rotten flesh. Put the chest here. We can get the seeds out of here now. Them. So much seeds. So, here, then we probably want to dump those here anyway too. So this was on this side, and this was on this side, here, right. You dare me to be the ender dragon? Yeah, we're going to do the ender dragon, we got a decent bow. Um, I got that definitely on my list to do that relatively soon. We want to go to the end relatively soon and get a bunch of things. So the Ender Dragon is definitely on my on my list for that. They used to for that to put themselves. <laughs> Hi John, how are you doing? Yes, we are a bit early today. Yes, we are early today. We got a bunch of things oh. done. We visited a small, our neighbor. Let's do some, let's get some sheep. Let's find some sheep here in the vicinity as well. Because we are needing a bunch of wool again. Probably also upgrade the fishermen to level 3. I hope it's not too expensive. No, that one is actually fairly reasonable. Hi, Raid Legend. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? We are here playing mostly Mine Colonies. But uh, we also always have some other mods around. We might experiment with a little bit. Although I do... I'm fairly bad at this. I'm not no dire wolf with mods. Wow, that one fairly strong. Oh, the underwater base in lava oceans in the nether. That seems like a very tough channel challenge indeed. That could be interesting. Uh, Do, do, do. So, let's find all those. Oh, is that another base I see over there? I've not seen that yet. 
And this seems like... This seems like another colony for me. That seems... Isn't it... I can't see citizens. Tevinas. So we, we're having here a colony upcoming. Mm. Very nice. Get some more wool. And that seems like a start for a fortress colony. If I'm not mistaken. But I'm not entirely sure myself. Is that the builder? Or is that the base? But I think it's a base. It's potentially the player house. I'm not sure with. We got here the town hall at least. But that's it for now. We're going to be seeing probably an another neighbor here. Ah, that's the fortress supply camp. Thanks, Animus. You see, I know my mod very well. <laughs> I know our mod very well. Yeah, the building, the supply camps, I really have to say I haven't seen all of them yet. The style themselves I'm fairly well to identify by the supply camps. Yes, it does look very useful and nice indeed, yes. I did like the... Yeah, the our wooden supply camp is like the default we made a long time ago. It's like okay. But the most of the other supply camps look pretty nice. Like I do love our Space Wars supply camp for example. It looks gorgeous. Yeah. Probably makes sense to replace it eventually with doors. Because raiders they pass gates. They can't, they can't pay, pass doors. But they will pass gates. Uh, 39 wool. I think that sets us up for a little bit of time again. We need to see if we're going to find some sheep on the way. Get some wool to go on the way else. We're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of delay in the chat. Um, so... I'm seeing... I don't have any of my bones with me, do I? Nope. Yes, um... After setting the miner, builder and lumber mill, you usually want, th want probably a, a fisherman. But in general, we do have a little guide in-game that like tells you what's good to place next, which is usually a smart thing to follow. Here we got another base, another neighbor. But they're not mine colony is a neighbor. Oops. Small rubber banding. And I would probably say you should probably get yourself um Oh nice black wool, that's always nice to have. Yeah, the advancements are a very good way to start as well. But we have those helpful messages that tell you maybe you should get a resource production building next, uh, try to get something for food, a fisherman for example. It's your goal. And then you can basically do it as I did as we did. Um No. Orion's church. Where? There is no church yet. These are all our citizen buildings. Here. Let's go back and let's see if we can... Yeah. Church is going to need a while yet. The estimate is around a month, I think, the estimate was. Not good was. enough, eh? Okay. That was almost finished with the farmer. Let us check in here. Okay, that is still at level 2 of the hospital. But we should probably get ourselves already the next field. Uh, we're going to want a ladder. And we're going to want one of these. We have the sticks. Get a field. And then let's get ourselves some carrots. Okay, that's great. 
Let's get our next field going. So that is done already. No, I don't think so. Oh, I thought it was a mob for a second. Got startled. Um, potentially we're going to do the next field. Wait. Um, I'm going to get some cobblestone first and some dirt. Let me get that first. Hi Ross, how are you doing? And Orion still didn't finish the tunnel yet. Um, dirt. Don't forget it, Ray. Let me get sidetracked. Dirt and cobblestone. Get a full chest of cobblestone here. We want to create a third field in the other direction. Kind of starting to go around the main. Yes, we are playing on the 116 Forgecraft server here. Trying things out, seeing how things work. Let's fill in some weird spaces as well. While we are at it anyway. Here. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't go heavy on that yet. That's going to need some time until it's ready. Uh, here. I'm going to see if the builder is going to dislike this potentially. So those are nine, right? One, two, three, I serve with four. Pleasure. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, it's your five. Gold. Yeah, we're going. To, we're going to have um, a religion system in the future in mine colonies, although no real-world religions, but more like abstract religions. Let's call it like that. And. You're basically going to found a religion or join one and you're going to get some benefits from doing so. You're going to have to find certain artifacts in the world and these kinds of things. It's going to be a rather interesting mechanic probably. You can, you can make the church of the flying spaghetti monster for sure. I'm not going to stop you doing that. Here. But it seems off. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Did I mess this up, really? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I really. I, how can I mess this up? Okay. One more. At least I noticed it eventually. Um, I do want to get some sleep quickly. I think this building doesn't have any beds inside. And not even enough torches outside. Carl, if you're watching this, this building is too dark on the outside. And know that we're in the dark ages, but this is even too dark for the dark ages. Um. Let's use the night. Here. Let's run quickly for too many mobs spawn around our colony. And we're going to lose most of our guards to them. That would be a pain. Uh, um, yes, the idea is that you want other people to join your religion on multiplayer servers is going to etc yes there are some plans around that indeed you will want to get other players to join your religion for your bonuses and you're going to probably earn money from having people join your religion while other people have to pay certain things then to join a religion religion Um, 
Wait, wait. No, no. I'm not ready for the afterlife yet. Okay. And then we place them at all the right locations as well. Here. Here. Yeah, kind of Wololo Age of Empire style, yes. Wait, here and here. Fail, here. And one in the middle as well. Here, here, and here. And then we do need our scarecrow right in the middle. That should be it. Um, four. If you make fields smaller than five, please set it here because this is going to make uh, it's going to be more performant. It's going to be faster for the server and faster for the fisherman, uh, fisherman, the farmer to take care of. Here, take all of this. No, not my resource scroll that you don't get. Um, and we need water, though. Else, this is not going to work. But we got some decent water source close by. Just messed up the decent water source. I uh, I just visited your base. It's very close. I need to have some competing colonies here close by. We definitely have to put some effort here. The developers can't make the ugliest colonies. Um, fail. That's fine. That's fine. There's way enough space for that. I got this weird hole. Okay, great. Yeah, there. I'm, I noticed that as well. In the outside areas of the build, there are not enough um, torches. The inside in general is fine. The outside is lacking usually. At least that's what I've noticed so far. I think the water wouldn't reach the edge then. Only the water under the block, I think, won't reach the edge. Although I did mess it up, but that still should reach the edge. Like, get some more lighting going here in this area. Just to make sure. Use up some of our torches. We got enough coal anyway. Um, blazing and upgrading the guard towers as well as the town hall and the barracks increase your border into the direction yes that should be good enough of an explanation let me see we've lost a miner really Christopher uh, you are our new miner our old miner lost most of the stuff at least the stripped logs are still here those are the most expensive ones. I'll take care I of hope it, you're diligent. It's your gold. Um, do you have tools here? I'm going to make some for you. Wait, I have I'll take care probably of most it. things you're going to need. Yeah. Maybe a shovel. Um 
sticks. Um, iron. Hi ho. Let's get him a bunch more pickaxes. Hi ho. It's your go. Good morning. So that must have been recent that someone died. Can't find it in the log, but it seems to be recent. I don't know which mod is uh, showing those light levels, but I know there's a lot of mods showing light it's levels in general. Gold. Okay, do we have ladders here? No, but we have some in the warehouse. That should be fine for now. Yeah, I'm not sure, because that one shows only the squares and not the numbers. And I, th I think I remember light the light level overlay mod really shows the numbers as well. But that might be a different mod. We can see the little area here we traveled. We got a little colony here. Oops. A player base up here. And we got another player base, that one is closer, here. That is very close. And apparently we got a player base around here too. Let's visit this place. I want to see if there is a player base there. It's just me being curious. Although... There was some nuclear fallout. Potentially, I don't want to do that. Hi, Ninja. Hi, Mime. How are you two go doing? And we are in the Forgecraft server today. And since I don't have the training today nor Wednesday, I went swimming today. But I forgot to buy swim goggles, so my eyes are still kind of... Yeah. I'm feeling great, my eyes feel tired. I... What does this give us? One of those ominous banners again? Yeah, there was some um, nuclear fallout. You did understand me right. Some people had reactor problems causing a bunch of issues for them. Um, I want to get some some of our colony defenses better going. We already started some, but not a lot. We got here kind of the first wall going you can see it here potentially we could get that a little bit bigger I get to build it again we'd be guarding there not here set guarding target guard here Skyler Yeah, weird. I'm going to fire and rehire her. Let me see, we have another citizen left. I'm going to see if that is not any other worker. We want to go one higher here, just to be sure. I'm probably better this way. So, another myst myst mystical plant, we got this, and then we probably want to have something rather similar here, maybe something like this, more To make it not too easy to enter our colony, probably that. Um, 
torches. I'm out of torches. We're going to add them later. And potentially we want to continue this around here. So this area stays within the colony. We kind of follow the natural border here. Oops. Fail. Um, dum de dum here. So we do f want to follow it here. Like this. The blog lag is real. Yeah, that that's the general idea I have to make a really nice city portal at this location. That is heavily protected. Um, and then we probably go like this. Just... Then we can continue going like this. And probably, do we want to close this or make a second but smaller portal here? I'm not sure yet. Let's maybe keep the options open for us. Maybe a smaller one like this. That could be fun. We need to get some torches and more cobblestone. Because we are running out of both of them. Um, there are a few ways to extend your colony. The first one is just upgrading your colony. Your town hall is going to expand your colony in all directions. All four directions to be exact. And the second, and that's probably the better and much cheaper and much quicker variant, is um, is upgrading guard towers. So if you place a guard tower close to one corner of your colony, your colony is going to expand in that specific direction. And that's basically the the rule for it. Okay, we got the healer here. Seems to be working fine. And similarly, the barracks also work like this. But obviously, the barracks are much more powerful. So the barracks they claim a much I bigger radius than pleasure. the guard towers because they're also much more expensive, right? I thought I dumped a lot. Yeah, yeah, you have a 64 torches. And it's getting late already. So it's kind of one of the things that's missing with this map mod is the time of the day. But I'm not sure if I want this. Because that's something we have in vanilla mechanisms for. But no one is using it, basically. I'm seeing. It looked like there was a worker inside here trapped. Um, no, it's not infinite side size because we do have a max limit in the config. So it will still have to abide to the max limit we have to find in the config. But potentially you could set it infinite if you wanted to. So that's better. But we did forget to get the cobblestone. But it's time to sleep now anyway. Yeah, a clock would probably just be the more immersive way to define the the time of the day. Um the damn cobblestone. And then dump the other things. The gravel at least. 
Let me get a quick shovel as well. I'm just mining everything by hand. Would be potentially much more effective to do it with a shovel. Let's sleep. Uh, done. So. Um, did them here. That's where we want to go and finish the next portal a little bit. Whoops. So, I saw one here. Yes, so the the workers only work if they are in a loaded chunk. So you also do not want to ex excessively exacerbate your colony size. Ab yes, that is absolutely true. So... Do we want this to be a bit higher here as well? I have a feeling this might be a little bit too high. Doesn't have to be the universal high all around the colony. Hi, welcome B BR Drift to our stream. Um here. Here. Probably just going with with this. Can still fill up here a little bit dirt on the inside to make it look nicer. But potentially we do want kinda some universal size. Here. Great. That's a good universal size. And we don't have to do this here either. Potentially we want to go like... Like this here again. And then we can... Move... Outside a bit. Put the torch on here. And another torch here. I think that's fine for now. We do still have to do the lo lower part of the wall to make it fit in nicely. Out. That was wrong. And potentially also make sure it's at least a minimum height at every place. So, like at least those four blocks high to give the barbarians or raiders in general a certain challenge. That's really just too easy for them to enter our colony. Um, here we go down. Okay. Um, do we want to put this straight down or... Yeah, let's get some dirt and finish off this hill here. Here. Put the torch up. like a little hill here not enough to give the barbarian serious leverage so that might be a bit too high yeah four blocks you remember but 
big enough to cause some serious trouble. So, I think that's some decent colony defense from our side here. We do want to continue this, this block here downwards. Is this going to be a, a smaller side entrance gate here? Like this. Just level it a little bit here. Like this. Great. And finish off here as well. Hi chef, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, I think that's I can live with. Oh, I just thought someone shot an arrow, but it was just the fisher. <laughs> it was just the fisherman, luckily. Here, another torch. We do want to fill in this area here. So let me do that. That was the area we damaged a little bit when we were getting dirt. I think that's fine. But probably one like to be this somewhat decent hill again as well like this I think that's reasonable you would flood this area here entirely I don't know if I want that It has certain advantages against the barbarians if we flood it. Ah, that hole here. I don't know. I could potentially go like this. Yeah, potentially we could flood it. I guess. Fisherman kinda invites us to do that, doesn't doesn't it the fisher um, so let's mine away here a little bit and really flood it but not too much maybe just like this Okay, so where's our water bucket? There it is. Now we want to get some water, place it in, place it in, get more water, almost ready. Almost. We can definitely not let Orion handle this colony alone yet. No, we need more guards. We need more guards first. <laughs> definitely. I get to build it again. Um, here. I think yeah, that's pretty nice. I think it definitely makes sense. Maybe go a little bit lower here. Around this area specifically. Would carpets over magma blocks work? Probably yes. But don't take my word for it. It might work, but it doesn't have to work. So, let's finish up this part here. Here. So, we got that mostly covered. Ow! Okay, that was one of the holes I didn't fill in yet. So, 
how, how did, do they say if you dig a hole for others you're going to fall in it yourself at least we say that in Germany that's another one we have to fill in maybe not maybe we can like underwater connect us here yeah we might just flood this like this might actually be worth it let's make our colony a little bit more aesthetically pleasing <laughs> yeah definitely mind the gap there I not good enough eh? need more more and more water Those thing water blocks are not very. Those are not very good water blocks yet. Kelp. I can use kelp. I serve with pleasure. I never heard of that trick yet. get some water here and let's finish off at least this little channel here a kelp turns flowing water into source blocks okay so let's get some kelp here there's more and let's see how that works out Got a swim bag here. When kelp is hit, it turns into source blocks. Uh, it's still my bucket. Let me swim out here. Oh. I serve with still pleasure. all kinds of holds. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Eventually, we're going to have these things here filled, and if and if it is one bucket at a time, literally. I serve with pleasure. Um, we do want probably those to extend deeper now. I get to build it again. Here. Okay. Okay. Okay, that, that made it definitely quicker. We almost got it. We almost got it. 
There's just like one block missing or so. There in the bag. This here is all flowing. Okay. Let's see. That here failed spectacularly. This here failed as well spectacularly. We're getting somewhere. Eventually. We're going to have this figured out here. Well, first, let's go to bed quickly again. Before we're going to be infested by mobs and lose the next miner or whatever. So. So, done. We can go back to building. We can also see what our builders are up to at the moment. So that one is on level on the guard tower 3. We're out of cobblestone. We got now everything for the guard tower level 3. Let's check out the other one, how he's dealing with the hospital. Or is he still working? Oh, a guard tower 3 as well. Nice. I hadn't known that yet with the kelp stuff. Those are some interesting mechanics for sure. That helped probably a lot in the lower regions there. To get a bunch of water in there. Really? Ah, the kelp is going to grow and then do ah, meh, and then going to do its charm. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, the kelp has been growing here, mainly taking care of the source blocks. So now that there were easy source blocks down here. I think that governs most of this area here. But not down here yet. But that, let me first put a torch here, that we should probably deal with on this side of the things. Oh, I think we had a barbarian visiting us here.
almost. Oops. What did we do here on the upper side of that slab? Did we really just waterlog those slabs? Don't tell me that the slabs leaked from the other side. Hi Carmen, welcome to the stream. Vanilla does the weirdest things. You can... Yeah, we are playing Minecraft as well. Okay. I think that's a fairly nice way to have the fisherman here handled. Maybe we want to connect this. Like this. We have the area here handled together. I think that's a fairly neat way. Uh, we do want... We do want to put the here. Definitely those blocks down as well. Like this. Nice! Finished the guard tower level 3. We do want to upgrade most of them to to level 3 quickly. Because it's going to give the guards a decent bonus. Let's walk to this one here too. And get that one upgraded. It's your gold. What are you doing here? Hi ho. And I feel like those sometimes cause weird issues. Building upgrade created. I thought I had lighted up most of this area here already. Let's give it a little bit more light. Great. So yeah, the idea is again a multi-level defense. We have like an inner wall here. Um, and then we're going to extend around this ravine up to here around. And then we're going to have a few things that are outside like the farm etc. Yay, starting our lumberjack finally. That one we definitely need urgently. So let us dump a, some, a bunch of these things here. This one is here. This one is here. The flowers are here. Whoops. Where had I put that one here? Wherever. Stairs? Oh yeah, I do need stairs. Um, I probably want some stairs. I don't know where I want the stairs yet. That's the main reason why I don't have them yet. I haven't finished that phase of the, phase of the planning yet. I haven't really finished, yeah. I'm unsure yet how I want the stairs. Potentially up here. Potentially going to go up there. Let's check first what our builders need. And then we can check which guard towers are not... That's on the lumberjack as everything he needs. Great. And that one here... Still needs some spruce locks. I gave you five. I'm going to get a few more from the lumberjack. Meanwhile, we got to the guard tower that is a little bit over there. Ah, that one is already has the build button clicked. Great. Yes, I mostly I target as well. But I do like things like somewhat finished, such that I don't have to remove it soon again. Well, let's get some more stairs out of here. 
Let's get some more cobble as well while we're on it. Here. Cobble. We wanted to do the other side of this. Yeah, this is this is going to become our big city gate. Yes. Um this year no. And this yes. Okay. Let's make ourselves some stairs that go up here. Um, here, here, here. Um, there. Yeah, I like to build my colony pretty ad hoc in general. Like, oh, I like this place and I'm going to then to start building and then deciding bit by bit, let it grow naturally. Because I think that makes the... The natural colonies are just... You see that they kind of fit well in the environment. Like, I think this here we can see, it just fits nicely in this region here. It looks that a natural colony grew naturally at this place. So build an upgrade. I serve with pleasure. I have to cancel all of these, maybe that's a problem. I'm going to click upgrade on that one too. Those were the ones that were missing the upgrade. Okay. We probably want this like I serve with here. pleasure. Great. This here looks kind of off. We already kind of now channeling. The barbarians to a certain way. They, they can't come from this. They're going to come over here. Oh, our lumberjack is ready. And over that area, there's also only that little portal they can come from. Let's go over there to our lumber new new lumberjack and hit upgrade again. Level one lumberjack is okay. Level two lumberjack is better. And look at this. There's a lot. Oh, there are a lot of dark places here. So, it's your gold. And the guard tower finished too. Great. I do think I have a crafting bench here. Let's give the builder here some more axes and potentially a hoe as well. Yeah, I have a chan. Yeah, it's your more like a general idea how I want it. Yes, already giving some future items. Already click build. What did we start now? Fisherman three, and the other one finished. The builder is going to start something relatively soon too. Welcome back, Fairy Wolf. Um, be done. Okay, guard tower three as well. Cobblestone stairs. And what was the other thing? Th spruce slabs. Can you I get all those with spruce pleasure. No. Just wanted to ask. Question was answered quickly. She can't Not get all the enough, spruce eh? slabs she needs. And cobblestone stairs are missing now only. Let's get some more cobblestone. You're going to want it anyway, replacing a little bit more protection. Yes, the hoe is only necessary for 116. Ask Mojang why. 
Um, here. Great. That has everything for the next guard tower. Now our other builder is at the fisherman. Iron it's bars, spruce planks, cobblestone wall. Let's take some dirt here and put it in our dirt chest. Mm -hmm. A barrel and blue wool. Okay. Blue color is just my favorite one because that's the easiest to gather. I think I put that all in my backpack, didn't I? Yes. It's already time to sleep again. And with a fisherman level 3, then we're going going to have starting to have an influx of enchantment books. And that's where things get much more interesting for us. Um, blue dye, blue wool. <laughs> why Mojang, why? No one knows. No one knows. I My guess is from the nether. A barrel, two barrels. Let's make like three. Um, oh, a lever, yeah. an orange wool. Um, three item frames and three fishing rods. Let's do this quickly as well. And thanks a lot for your subscription, Superminix. Hi. <laughs> your third month as well. Wow. Time passes, doesn't it? Time passes. Um, I wanted to dump the flint. Now, we do did want to get three leather. And six of this and we're going to need a bunch of sticks here anyway and then we're going to need the sticks here and we can click everything um here spruce buttons and doors how many spruce buttons is this enough? Yes, trapdoor, white wool, we need two as well. Oh yeah, that, that can be a fair pain, definitely. That's the only problem with Terraforge, is that it removes the Minecraft, Minecraft stone. And changes that way a lot. So, orange wool. It almost feels like a builder building, to be honest. Here. Let's get just two. It's your go. Yellow, red, orange, orange wool. Um. Spruce trapdoor. It's your go. Um, spruce wood. Oh wow, Feralwolf. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the cheer. That's a very generous one. Thanks a lot. Um, yes. This here. Um, stripped spruce wood. Let's get one of these. One's nah, the wrong, the wrong one. Those are a pain to get. At least it's craftable now in the newest version. 
Finished guard tower level 3. Nice. I like progress. Spruce fence. Oops, what was that? And have the three remaining ones too. Well, there's some nice emojis to have now. Hyper. Ah, thanks a lot as well. We got a hype train incoming. <laughs> Very nice. Right, left. The normal or the paper? <laughs> Very nice. Right, left. Here, another cheer, keeping our hype train alive. Oh, wow! <laughs> another emoji. Hyper Mayhem. Hi ho. It's escalating. <laughs> Very neat. Mo a dried kelp blog. How do I get that one? Again? And welcome speaker sticks to our channel as well. Dried kelp. Campfire cooking kelp. Nine of it. Okay. Ross is hanging out a lot with us here for a while already. Furnace works too. Furnace is even better for me. Um, got some dolphin. This is a very neat bay we have with a bunch of dolphins. Oh, nice. Seven. Nine. There we go. Getting this hype train going very neatly. Oh. Fail jump. Anyway, you need to cook kelp in the furnace or smoker. Yes, thanks a lot. Let's see that how that is going to work. Oh, thanks a lot for the sub gift as well. I hadn't seen that one yet. Oh, I heard that you can follow them. But if I follow, I, I kind of have, I'm kind of afraid that if I follow them, I lose them in my bay. And I love them playing around in my bay in front of the colony. Ah, some more water. Okay, dried kelp coming. I wanted to dump those in here too. We need gray clay shingle and moss slate. So gray clay and moss slate. Clay, clay, clay. Break. Um, here. Um, I don't remember how many it was But I, I know I needed some slabs as well <laughs> um, How many 28 spruce shingle and thanks for the sub gift from Chef as well very nice we're getting a bunch of those emojis now, filling up our emoji stores. Um, 28, that's 40, great. Now we need gray, so I know we have, we were hunting those ink sacks. We have a lot of bone blocks. Another bit cheer and we completed the level 2 hype train. Is this our first level 3 hype train? I think so. 
I think this is the first time we've beaten a level 3 hype tree now. Bone blocks, right? That gives us all the white wool we can need. And white, white thigh we can need. Let's get a bunch of gray color. So. Very nice. Um, was it gray or was it light gray? Gray, gray, okay. I wasn't 100% sure about that. Thanks a lot, Roz. Yes. Oh, wow. Another five subs. Thanks a lot for those, Fairy Wolf. And we just completed the level I'll four. Just you. like that as well. Thanks. It's highly appreciated. It really helps us to pursue, pursue this mod development as well. Gold. Makes it much easier to take care of all of this. A moss slate shingles now. Um, so. Moss slate. That's mo mossy cobblestone chest, okay. Yes, thanks a lot. Highly appreciate it. Um... What do we know? Those belong over here. This here is a mob drop. Wait, where's our mob drop? Box. We had a mob drop block somewhere. Here. That's full. Okay, here. And the gray wall here. Then we need the cobblestone. All the emojis. Yeah, my kelp should be done as well. Definitely. I think I'm getting sidetracked by all the hype going on here. My goodness. What a streaming week. We just hit the 500 followers. We're going to now straight up. We hit 500 yesterday. We had 522. I have a feeling that the next 500 is going to be quicker than the earlier 500. That would be amazing. Um, let's get some of these vines on the cobblestone. And then we need... Okay, that's the other one. Let's pass it the other one quickly too. What else? Spruce logs, spruce slabs. Okay. Oh yeah, just super hyped today, everyone's super hyped. Yes, I heard that once, like Twitch surge in general is kind of poor, however there is a again? surge option to search via channels where there is a hype train going, as far as I remember, and that helps to gain a bunch of visibility while the hype train is running basically. Moss slate shingles. I think only 8 slabs. Even less than 8 slabs. And 28 of the shingles. Oh, we are out of spruce. Let's run to our Heard something about that. Um, yeah, I still did, haven't figured out a hundred percent how all this Twitch stuff works, but we're getting there. We're getting there. One day. Oh, nice, Tinty Tots. Thanks a lot for the for the other sub gift. Let's keep this going, people. <laughs> Oh wow, Mizen is, is joining in now as well. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mizen, for all the gifts and the emoji as well. Other five sub gifts. 
Wow, we are 84 sub points now. We are, that is I our new record as well, for sure. Um, yes. And now level 5 hype train. <laughs> Very neat. Uh, let me get those sprues planks. 28. 16, 32, and 40, exactly, or oh, was it 28 or 48, did it just overdo it massively, as always, <laughs> thanks a lot people, this, yeah, lots of emojis, lots of gifts, this helps our channel grow immensely and what grows our channel gives us visibility gives my colonies visibility and helps to grow our mod as well and our community itself which we are pretty proud of our community is amazing um, fisherman here and we're just hype is going on and hype is even going to the barbarians they're hyped as well northeast okay get my bow and sword ready sleep quickly yeah we got full raid type now full raid time okay I can see them. Wasn't it northeast? I was having a classical case of wrong way again. So I can't see them on the map. So now we got finally a good bow. So potentially we'll be able to mostly snipe them away. Although th their group size is getting increasingly stronger. Yeah, the classical wrong way. <laughs> Sneaking here around. This way I don't have to deal with all of them at once. This one has radiance. I don't know what it does. Oh. And very nice, we got another sub gift of I'll Chef. Thanks a lot for the sub gift. I'll be back. Okay, we got a few left. Just gotta find. Here's the chief walking off to our colony. You're the least one I want in our colony, chief. Because you're the heavy hitter with the... Wow. I'll be back. Oh, nice. So, only three raiders left. And I can see them in our colony. So I'm a slightly bit concerned. Oh, no. They're inside the citizen hut that's bad I'll be back and one was slain by an color we're here not here the other citizen had ah quick he's killing the next one no 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 not here where's I was sure
Only one raider left. Yes, thanks a lot for the uh, for the hype drain. And we successfully, yeah, not very successful. Who did we lose? Um, only our lumberjack. Yes, our lumberjack Philip was killed by. What is? What are you doing, Hannah? Glitching in the walls here. Um, let's see how it. What happened? Which lumberjack it was? Was it our just our lumberjack freshman, or was it our long-term lumberjack here? Oh no, that is double painful. That was our great lumberjack. No offense, David, but you're a level one lumberjack. That was our level eight lumberjack or so. I don't even know where this guy was running around. I have a feeling that it was around the tavern. But it's 499 to 30. 230. I'll take care of it. 499. Yeah. That was inside the tavern. Or at least close to it. Here the doors are intact, so it probably wasn't here. But it was around here. It was probably right here in front. Um, yeah, I'm going to assign the lumberjack to the other building. That's definitely a good idea. Assigning him here. And... We're going to check, maybe we can even um, get a, uh, a citizen. Maybe if one of them needs something like redstone or so, we could get a halfway I'll decent get to one. Build it again? Diamonds I'll a get bit to of expensive. Build it again? Ah, we have, we're lacking enough, citizen eh? space. So we already got a kid. Okay. So we are out of living space in our colony. We do want Garto level 3 finished. Yeah, let's get those Garto level 3s finished. Such that we have a better protection in the future. Yeah, I will I do need that, right? Um, do I want that here straight? That one is a 3. So do we want like a 3 by 3 one down here? Potentially, yes, right? Get some good stairs. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's right, right? Yes. Yeah, Enderman can be really painful. <laughs> what? That kind of child was... No childs were harmed in the hiring of lumberjacks in our colony. That was merely an intern. Child protection laws, we know, don't apply to internships. That's what internships are for. Um, yeah. Go one deeper here. 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 Great. Just let me check out something really quick. Yes. Our kids actually have some very specific code that makes them watch people at work. There is there is code for that. I want to check no um here so let's bring those birch saplings to our sapling chest 
And let's continue our wall setup. And that is going to, in the future, protect us against those vicious raids. So this one is still at the fisherman. Let's see what the other one is working. It should be working on the next guard tower, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It needs more cobblestone stairs. It's and more screw slabs. I get to build go, it again. Slabs. And that's enough for the next car tower as well. Yeah, in the midi in, in that time period everyone was at the age they were able to hold a hammer or plant a sapling or something like that. They were already in apprenticeship um, helping out especially the family, right? So um, I want to go on this side where the barbarians come from and protect that a little bit better. So we got a little plateau here that we're going to keep. However, this here we're going to take then as the natural border around here. So this here is definitely an easy one. Like this. Place a torch here. Um, here. Gonna get some of those trees out of the way for, of our wall. Although this one here is already going straight in this direction, isn't it? Okay, that means... Yes, perfect height! That means we are, are on the right track, at least. idea a school um, you mean that kind of school we implemented or a different kind of school because we already have a school in in my colonies exactly where the kids go in the morning and level up their intelligence uh, yes John we have some general plans for that in the future as well Ray tracing mine colonies. You mean you mean seeing what I'm doing? <laughs> or is that a different kind of ray tracing you have in mind? We need more cobblestone. <laughs> no, I know that you meant RTX, yes. I'm I'm just I'm just messing. Yeah, the, the school we've added quite a while ago already. That was one of the f early 115 things we've added was the school. It was before. Was it before the pandemic? I think it was before the pandemic ran wild. We added the school. And the hospital. Oh yeah, fruit farmer. That is one of these compatibility things. Yeah. That would be like, like I said already. Adding a fruit farmer, if there is a mod that adds fruits, would be super easy to add. It just needs someone to make a model or potentially just a model for like a scarecrow and add some compatibility code to the farmer 
That would probably be the easiest part. So they're not going to come through this here anymore. That corner is now protected. However, they can come from this direction. And we just have... Like that is just ground, ground height, height on this side. Hi ho. Right. So I don't know yet what's supposed, what we're supposed to do. Here it starts already to go up, but then not down. It should actually go down. Oh yeah, biome so plenty styles. That's definitely useful. We had someone requesting that on the Forgecraft server just a few days ago, as far as I remember. And we want to fill this in here. Because this gives us space for colony action. We don't have a lot of dirt with us, but that is already better than the big hole before. And all of this is colony space basically. Uh, don't we have a crafting table? Yes. Yeah, mod compat is at the moment... We have that on the list, but it's fairly... fairly far behind on the list. Because it's a lot of work and it d doesn't add to the main core of my colonies. Which doesn't require any mods. But we do have it on the on the table to add mod compatibilities in the future. So got us some more dirt. Um yeah, let's take this here away as well. I guess we can sleep in a second already as well. Yeah, we have also um, a bunch of, of plans to diversify the food requirements of our citizens to be more realistic, like a bunch of foods and not only one type of food and they're fine. That is definitely on the plan, yes. Yeah, machines are relatively easy. The, the main thing is just getting worker models, block models, buildings, etc. for it. Good night, Ervin. Have a good one. The game sounds? Yes, for sure. Go a little bit lower like this. So you guys don't get head head, head, head <coughs> So you guys don't get headache of listening to me mining blocks. I'll take care of it. Here. The builder finished the other guard tower level three. I think we got them all on level three now. That one behind there is three, that one is three. I'm not entirely sure if we didn't have another one. Let me check on the map. There's this one here. So those are all level three. We can see from their tops. And this one here isn't yet. Let's run to the other one. And probably easier than World did it is actually using the Mine Colonies build tool. Because that one just um, respects the stair placements, etc. For example. Makes things a little bit easier. Okay, better. And we, has, we still have this part of the colony as well 
that is at the moment not protected at all, right? Let's click upgrade on the unit. Let's see. Do we have any researches running at the moment? Um, nope. That was the last thing I researched. And do I have... Yes. So let's research the barracks here already. So get that, that one done. And research things as we need them. And then potentially we do upgrade it to the next as well. Yeah, and they got a convenient GUI, exactly. Okay. That one is not terribly expensive. Just the spruce log requirement. And then we can see where it ends. Um, yeah, we're going to have the mode. It's going to come around here. It's going to come around here. And it's going to go through here. So potentially here, we're going to have another kind of piece of wall. Let's say it like that. Remove the blocks here a little bit. Oh yeah, we have done so much progress in my colonies. Especially seeing the university probably with the vast research tree. We just saw a third of the research that is available. Probably not even that because we didn't even... Ah, uh, we didn't even scroll far past that. So we're going to go here. Like this. Here's lava. And then we're going to go again kinda up the mountain, right? Let me just store a bunch of that stuff here. We have some inventory space. So we go up the mountain again. Like this. And we can probably... Yeah, we're going to use the multi-pet pigeon probably. Uh, middle multi. The multi-piston for that pigeon. Yeah, here. Almighty multi-piston, yes. We can even build can even build uh, elevators with it. Yeah, multi pigeon. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't bully me for it. <laughs> it's a new mod, multi pigeon. It's like the rat mod, just with pigeons. And there's a a guy who who has a whistle and then a lot of pigeons come attacking you. And we play this Yoda song. Seagulls! <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, that sounds just horrifying. Um... Yeah. So that's where it goes. Yes, we do have an enchanter already that uses the engine tomes. Um, so, yeah, that's exactly why I suggested using the, the pigeon mod, the red mod, as an example to where to go. So... Then we probably want to continue going here. And then maybe and go like here, this way. Uh, 
We're out of cobblestone now. But I think that might be a decent direction. Let me see on the map. Can we see? For some reason, I'm the only head that is invisible in this game. I don't know why, but I'm invisible. But look, going here, you can see there, here's a little of mountain slide that would help us. We could potentially then cut through this mountain and then finish off here. I think that here would round it off probably. I didn't, yeah, I heard there's like a lot of red content after you go through it basically ouch you know, those ba baby skeletons are absolutely ruthless and this entire area here is fairly underlit so let's get some I, I dumped a bunch of dirt in my inventory earlier Place this here again. Can uh, yes, embed it better. Oh, our our hospital was finished as well, wasn't it? We haven't even visited it yet. Ouch. That's a fairly difficult way to the hospital. There it is. It's getting along. Yeah. You, you said that already, yes. I think I got some of those rare drops already. I pleasure. Yeah, that's also not really affordable. But we do not have space in the colony either way. Oh, nice. The fisherman level 3 was finished. We didn't even notice it. And the guard tower level three. Ah, he started. He's going to start the guard tower level three. Um, let's see. On this one here, is working on the lumberjack. Um, slab, fence, coarse dirt, and grass. So I do have, I think, that coarse dirt here. I don't have any of this grass here. But spruce, I could probably help you with. So, slabs, you said. Fence, you said. Fence and slabs. I serve and with the remaining pleasure. fence and slabs. The rest is grass. Okay, let's get some of that grass. Oh yeah, we have a, a road worker planned as well, yes. We even have some code ready for the road worker already, as far as I know. Just not enough to be release ready enough. But yes, definitely planned. And definitely on the list. Especially the road worker part. But the road worker would be highly optional. Like the idea is if you want to do your own roads, do your own roads. I think grass you have to bring. I've been bringing grass all along. And if it's requested, I'm not sure if she's going to place it. Okay. Let's go back here and feed her the grass. 19 then we got everything for the lumberjack now level 2 I get to build it again now we had everything in the warehouse for it too too bad and the other one did you start already now yes it's your gold what are you getting the cobblestone you're not getting and the cobblestone stairs neither let me get the cobblestone and cobblestone stairs for you again. Cobblestone stairs incoming. A road warrior? <laughs> How would that work? Oh. 
I hope. Yeah, specialization sounds definitely nice. I'll take care of so it. The planks I gave, only waiting for the letters and more spruce logs. Let's give our fishermen. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> De definitely. Ouch. I serve with. So pleasure. that one is working here. Um. And also missing lightning. Lighting. Not lightning. Let's get us some torches. Because that one I feel is going to die soon if we don't do something about it. Um. My lair warehouse is level 2. Ah, who? Ah, yes, level three. Upgrade your warehouse, yes. It gets significantly, significantly bigger at the higher levels. Not good enough, eh? Uh, not good enough. Porches. So that should be now a safer area and a nice little house for the fishermen. Clear this path here. Better. So, now we got a clear path here to the fishermen. Let me place some of that dirt. Here, then. Great. This is coming together. The gate is still a little bit big. We're going to probably I go end with up with around pleasure. half the space. But then have like a huge multi-piston gate going up and down. Or left and right, I'm not sure yet how we're going to end up doing it. But I, I know I'm going to do a huge gate there. Let's let's check. Ah, we have a guard here standing on top of their tower. Some buildings could share, but we don't share on purpose because it would be a very overpowered mechanic. Like the fisherman is fairly powerful already. So we do don't want too many fishermen. And a lumberjack level 2 finish. You can see the fireworks. Um, but yeah, having two fishermen in the same hut, that would, wouldn't give you any cost. And would thus be extremely overpowered. So... It is getting fairly late, we're 2 hours and 20 minutes in the stream. I hope you enjoyed the stream as much as I did today. Thanks everyone for tuning in today. Thanks for all the gifts and the amazing hype train. You guys are amazing. Um, I'm going to be on tomorrow again. We, to be exact, we are going to be on tomorrow again. Um, some add-ons is going to be on tomorrow as well. On our Patreon, on our regular Patreon server stream. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, thanks everyone for engaging in the chat with me. That makes much more fun as well. And I'm going to see you guys I'll tomorrow. Sayonara, good night. See you tomorrow everyone. Thanks a lot.